if you ever get a phone call like this from Amazon. Hello, this is an important call from Amazon customer support. This is to notify you regarding your today's purchase on Amazon.com. You have been charged $1,279.99 on your default card saved on Amazon.com. If you have not made any such transaction, then please press 1 to cancel your order. Hang up. It is most likely a scam. To be on the safe side, after you hang up, contact Amazon directly through their website or mobile app. But I am a scam bidder, so I stayed on the line with the scammer. So the reason a uh, ride to your call has been transferring to me because we received a complaint to the Amazon security team because they found like somebody else is using your information and creating a bogus Amazon account and order some electronics gadget. It's like a Lenovo gaming laptop worth of $1,275. You have any idea about this purchase? Like any of your family member who made this purchase? The scammer proceeds to tell me that I am a victim of identity theft and that my information is being used to commit illegal activities. And uh, then as I can see over here, like your personal information and your a social security number, it's also compromised. Like somebody else is using the same information also and doing some serious criminal activities in the state of Texas. It means it's a look like a very serious case of identity theft. And that is the main reason your call has been transferred to investigation department for further investigation. All right. The scammer asked me if I ever lost my wallet or traveled to the city where my identity is supposedly being used. He also asked me to write down his information. He identified himself as Mark Benson. He gave me a badge ID and said that he works for, well, let me let him say it. I work for the department of OIT. It's the three letters, O as in Oscar, I as in Indiana, and G as in Georgia. Inspector General? Yep. Okay. Make a note of this, as it will come up again in a minute. Now, I am not going to torture you with the scammer's boring script, but to summarize, he said that there are many bank accounts associated with my Amazon account, and those accounts are being used to launder drug money. He also said this. We also find out the abandoned car near south border of the Texas. And inside the car, we also find out an Amazon parcel. And the parcel was under your personal information, involved with your Amazon fake accounts. And the car we have found is black in color, Toyota Corolla, 2019 make and model. So have you ever rent any car under your name like this? He proceeded to tell me that there were addresses found in the vehicle's documents, and those addresses were raided by federal agents. They recovered cash and some financial documents with my name. For that reason, charges are being pressed against me. The problem is, due to this reason, because this 15 banks and the 9 credit card is still running under your name, due to this reason, the Social Security Administration Department is ready to press a charge against you for the drug trafficking as well as money laundering because your identity has been used those criminal activities in state of Texas. But right now, I understand you are not doing this type of criminal activities in state of Texas or any different state. Is that correct? The scammer proceeded to tell me that they ran a background check on me and saw that I was a law-abiding citizen. So he is going to help me settle this case. After more word salad that I will not bore you with, he asked me to verify the balance on my bank accounts. We need to prove you're innocent inside the courtroom in front of a jury member. So I'm going to submit this recording as a speech of the evidence from your side to prove you're innocent so you or any of your family member is not facing any trouble in the future, the same situations, the identity theft case. And then I have the order to suspend the all bogus bank accounts, which is registered under your name, and stop the money laundering and find out the real person who using your information and remove your name on this case. So can you please let me know what is the legal amount, the approx value are you holding on your checking or savings account with the Bank of America together? Both accounts together? Yeah, together. Uh, it's about 80000 All right. What about the IRA with the Bank of America? Uh, it has about uh, 260000 on it. 250 okay. 260. And uh, what about, the, sorry? Two, I think you said 250 I said 260. Uh, 260 okay. I think it's 250 no problem. What about the credit union checking and savings account together? I have, uh, well, my savings and my checking together is about 50000 Okay. And the IRA? The IRA, uh, 457000 Sorry? 457 457 Yes. Okay, it's 457000 Is that yes. correct? Yes, yes. Okay, no problem. This is all a ruse to see if I am worthy of being scammed and how much money they can possibly get from me. Now, the scammer asked me for a photo ID to attach to my case file. Now, my Photoshop skills are non-existent, so I did not have an uh, ID to send to him. If you are good at Photoshop and would like to help me take scams like this a little further by making an ID for me to mess with scammers, 
My email is in the description. And uh, I'm going to be uh, submit this paperwork to my high authority and the federal courthouse to start the procedure to differentiate your actual bank account for the suspension list so you don't face any kind of a financial losses, all right? Don't lose any of your single dollar. And uh, can you please uh, like click any of your uh, photo ID and send it to me on this number so I can attach on your paperwork because we need any of your photo ID. You can send me like your driving license, state ID. You can click any of your photo ID, well, write, uh, yes, like your name I, and your photo. I understand that. Um, I just want to make sure that um, um, that I'm actually also yeah. talking to the um, to the uh, to the government official. Is there a way you can verify yeah, who you are, by the way? Because I, I, yes, I just yes. want to make sure. Yeah, I know, I know, I understand. So I can do one thing. I can talk to my seniors. I can click the picture of the badge, and I can send it to you as a tax, so you can see. Yes. All right. It is good for you. I can send you the picture of my seniors officer badge. Yes, please. Do you have a badge? You... Yeah, I have also. Yes. Can I see? Yep. Um, since I'm talking to you, I'd rather just see yours. Yeah. Why not? Uh, my badge is also a federal badge. I can send it to you. Okay. You can see my name. All right, over there. If okay. you want, I can send it to my badge. Okay, give me a moment. Okay. Now, do you remember when the scammer said this? I work for the department of OIT. Well, now he works for the FTC. I was sending you my badge because I'm the investigation officer over here, all right? I belongs to the Federal Trade Commission. So you can see on your tax messages, did you receive my badge, Officer Mark Benson? Now, I know that there is an OIG office in every government agency, but this identification looks bogus to me. The ID on the left says FTC. The badge on the right says DEA, which falls under the DOJ. Let me know in the comments if someone can be employed by both the FTC and the DEA at the same time. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. You can see the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, all right, who give me this badge, the also Federal Department. And you can see my name over there, Officer Mark Benson, and my identification number also over there, ending with 0421. Do you work for the DEA or for the FTC? Which one do you work for? Sure, right now. I'm working from the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, all right? And the all departments are work together, all right? This is the main headquarters, okay? And uh, right now, we, yeah, right now we investigate this matter because my name is Officer Mark and my duty is to, over the phone, providing you the information and complete the paperwork with, through from the OIG department. And then I will connecting your call to the senior officer, all right, to the head of the OIG. They will help you out to removing your name. But we need to attach any of your photo ID, all right? So that's what I'm asking to you. As an immigrant myself, I hate pointing out how bad a person's English is because I have friends and family that don't speak English very well. But I am amazed at how confident these scammers are with their English. He clearly has a very thick Indian accent, but he does not hear it. He really believes that he has an American accent. Anyway, I started expressing some concerns to the scammer and asked if I could simply go to a local office and get this resolved. So he did what scammers usually do at this point. He resorted to fear tactics. So you also understand if you go to your local authorities right now without our verification, all right, so they will put you in the custody, all right, because you have a charges of the money laundering and the drug trafficking. I understand your concern and everything, but I'm trying to help you. If I need your money, just you think in your mind, if I need your money, I'm not asking to you this type of information. I'm directly asking to you what's your account number or something like, so removing any money on your account. You also understand how the scam are running over the phone. There is a lot of scam are running. I understand, all right? But nobody can give you the surety with your local authorities or something like. We will tell you, if you need any verification, we will provide you the verifications with your local authorities, all right? You simply tell me, I can go ahead and take a legal action on your name. We will suspend the whole thing. If you want, you can resolve the situation from your end. I'm not forcing to you to do anything or something maybe, like that. Maybe it's best if I um, go see a lawyer and then, and then go to the FTC office. So you want to fight the case against the government and you hire the lawyer. So well, my yeah, position, well, well, because, no because this, yes, is, this, is, this is a very dangerous situation. Um, and and, and, and yeah. to be honest with you, um, Adrian Benson, I, just don't, I'm, I don't have a lot of faith in, in government. I think it's best if I go mm -hmm. see a private lawyer and then the private lawyer can, can, uh, can, can, can direct me on yes. how to proceed forward. Because I, yes. uh, I, I, understand. I don't feel comfortable I working directly with the, with the government. Yeah, it's, a good, it's a good advice. Yeah, it's a good advice. But you can also think, all right, like right now, all right, we don't know who is the real suspect, right? And you breaking the rule of this call, all right? What's the rule of this call, all right? You're not allowed to hang up this call. We still connect with you until we resolving the situations and we providing you the documentation. And you're talking about the lawyer, all right? You need to hire the attorney. So in my decision, you can stay on the line with me, all right? Go to the police department and surrender yourself, okay? And then they will giving you the chance to like hire the best attorney in your city, all right? And then... Removing your name on this case fights the case against the government inside the courthouse, all right? So you simply tell me what's your intent. We will go ahead and take a legal action. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like I just know, I just know that my experience has told me that 
I should not work directly with the government. Always have a lawyer present when I'm talking with the government. That's all. Especially when it's come to like legal criminal matters like this. Okay, I understand, sir. But uh, there is no other way, all right, to removing your name on this case file. All right, can you please stay on the line? Give me a moment. I can talk to my senior. Okay. okay. At this point, since I did not have an ID to send them, the scam was going nowhere. So I just played the role of a normal victim being skeptical without revealing that I am a scam baiter until the scammer gave up. Your line has been transferred to the senior investigation officer. This is Officer David, David Freeman. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Mr. Freeman. All right. So I believe, sir, that my colleague provided you some important information regarding the case which is going on under your name. And you told him that you're willing to work with the government to find out these people who are just trying to misuse your information. Am I right? Yes, that's correct. But at the same time, I mean, uh, I don't feel comfortable sharing my, you know, ID over the phone and stuff like that. So I was telling Agent Benson if there's okay. a way I can go to the local FTC office and he can forward my case there and they can and they can be expecting me and then I can just that is, get all my That cannot happen. That cannot happen. The reason behind that is it is a federal case which is going on under your name. All right. And we are willing to keep this case private and confidential. If we go ahead and make this case public, this information will be Well, I mean, not public. I mean, I mean, if, if, if you go to that, since, since I live in Dallas, it seems like the Dallas FTC should have jurisdiction over where, over where I am, right? So, no, and the crime no, is being no, in, no, no. No, that is not how it is going to work, sir. All right. I already told you we have uh, kept this case private and confidential. See, if you just, uh, if you already made up your mind that this is just a scam, and you don't want to do anything over it's the not phone, that I think no, no I uh, officer Fre you. officer Freeman it's not that I think this is a scam it's not what what I mean I never said that it's just said that it's just that you guys are from the government and I just don't trust the government with my information that's all <laughs> you don't trust your info you don't don't trust your information with the government that is what you have to say yes <laughs> then why do you uh, like why do you even live over here why do I live live where sir why do you live in the United States if you don't trust the government of the United States well well, I mean, there's nowhere else to go. Um, uh, the, the government can, is not trustworthy. That's all I'm saying. I, I mean, I'm no disrespect against you. Why you don't you. trust the government? Explain me. Please go ahead and explain me why you don't trust the government. Be because the, the government is corrupt. The, 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 the government of the United States is corrupt. All, all governments, almost and all countries are corrupt. What kind of proof do you have? Well, I mean, I don't want to go too political, but I mean, I can go very political with you. No, but I, then I, but, you cannot but I don't say want... anything, all right? I have, no, have, I, proof, I, I, I have no, I have very good reasons not to trust the government. And I, I can go with it, right. you, but, but I know that... If you don't that... trust the government, there is no way that we will be able to help you. Okay. If you don't trust the government, there is no way that we will be able to help you, all right? What we simply can do is we can forward your information to your local authorities, all right? Like your local police department. Let them take legal action to your name, all right? And you can fight this case against the government, okay? I'm not, trying to, the fight, I'm not trying to, kind of, uh, I'm not trying to fight, fight a case against you, um, Officer Freeman. That's not what I'm trying to do. But if you... It's just... It's just that I, I would rather do this in person over the phone. That's all it is. All right, so do it in person, all right? I'm forwarding your information to your local authorities. You can go over that. Have a nice day. Okay, thank you, Officer Freeman. I know many of you will ask why I didn't challenge the scammer more or yell at him. Moving forward, I prefer to let the scammer go through their scam without much resistance so that people can see how the scam is done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.